Hi, this is Martin here with Electric Avenue, and today I'm going to show you how to change your handlebar angle um, with respect to your stuff in the bike. Um, so first off, you're going to need a four millimeter Allen key here, and then um, I'm going to show you right here. There's these two clamps on the handlebar that lock it in place, and there's four bolts. Um, but you really only need to loosen two of them for you to be able to move the handlebar, as you see I have here. And so once these are loosened and you're able to move the handlebar, you wanna make sure that um, this handlebar is centered with respect to the stem. And as you can see, the Ultimate C8 has these lines here um, that kind of help you out in aligning the handlebar. So now that I have the handlebar centered, you wanna make sure you rotate the handlebar to where the U, this U right here, is facing the rider and that the handlebar is parallel to the ground. And once you got that, um, you can go ahead and tighten it down. Tighten these down to your four millimeter. And then I'm just gonna hand tighten them for now. But once they're a little hand tight with the, this tool here, you wanna get the torque wrench to make sure that the proper torque ratings are in place. And as you can see here, um, it shows five to six Newton meters. So let's go ahead and torque these down. What I like to do is uh, I like to go back and forth with these just to make sure that one is not tighter than the others because as you tighten one side, the other gets tight as well. Um, so we're getting close here. You start hearing a click soon right there, like that. That's how you know that you've reached the proper torque rating. And we'll do the second one here and click, there you go. And that is how you adjust your handlebar. Um, but once, as you can see here, the controls may not be um, properly in place now that you've adjusted the handlebar. So uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.